video is long overdue. I don't know when it was the last time I filmed a Q&A video, so I knew that I had to film a June Q&A. Thank you to all those who responded to my Instagram picture, my tweet, and Facebook post, because let's get real. Without your participation, these Q&A videos would not exist. I am ready to answer your questions. The first question is asked by Vampet for Life. What do you like about being a YouTuber? There has been many perks that come from being a YouTuber. I just love being part of a community on YouTube, the beauty and fashion community. I feel like I'm in like a whole nother world, especially when I go to different beauty events like IMAT or BeautyCon. It's just a great feeling knowing that I'm interacting with you guys and interacting with so many different people around the globe. And not only do I love filming and editing and uploading videos to my channel, I also love following other channels. I just love supporting other gurus and then I love getting the support from other gurus and of course all of my viewers. Van Pat for Life also asked, who is your favorite celebrity boy and girl? So before I sat down to film this video, I had to think about this. I do have several favorite girl celebrities like Kendall and Kylie Jenner. I do like the Kardashians, even though they can be annoying at times. I still like to watch their show and still like to follow them. I also love Juliana Ranzik on like E! News. Some of my favorite like music celebrities include like Lord or Lana Del Rey, Lady Gaga. And then one celebrity that I love, if I had the chance to meet her, I would love that. And that is Ellen DeGeneres. I think she is so funny, she is so positive, she has such a great heart, and I just think she is just so cool. Then when it comes to boy celebrities, I really can't think of one. Yeah, I legit thought about this for a good like 10 minutes. I really can't think of any. So I guess I don't have a favorite boy celebrity. Sorry it's Kara asks, what encouraged you to make a beauty channel on YouTube? I think the number one thing that encouraged me is my love for YouTube and the countless hours I spend on YouTube watching beauty and fashion videos. I remember thinking that if I love to apply makeup and put together outfits, I might as well film myself and upload those onto YouTube and maybe people would like to see that and hear my makeup tips and fashion advice. So I just took a risk, I just gave it a shot and I'm so happy that I took that risk because I don't know where I would be without my camera, without my makeup, without my love for fashion, and of course, YouTube. Elizabeth asks, would you ever grow your hair out long? And if so, how long? This has been definitely a question that I've been asked a lot, and definitely a question that's been like going through my mind. I love my pixie haircut, don't get me wrong, I love my short hair, but I am trying to grow it out just a little bit, but if I was gonna grow out my hair, I don't think I would grow it out past my shoulders. But I do like a bob. I love like Kylie Jenner's new short hair. I love like Juliana Ranzik's hair. So I think I'm probably going to have short hair for a long time, whether it's a pixie cut, it's a bob, a longer bob, like a shoulder length haircut. I just can't imagine myself with long hair. Ray Fabe asks, what are your favorite YouTubers? Oh my goodness, I have way, way, way too many. Sarah Farrell asks, what are your plans for the rest of the summer? Oh, I cannot believe that like, it's almost the end of June. Like I've been out of school for like a month and a half. That's really crazy to think of. My plans for the rest of the summer are probably just going to be filming videos for my YouTube channel, just hanging out by the pool when I do have free time and working. I do have a part-time job at a retail store. I don't want to give the store away, but I am working at one of my favorite stores and it has been a lot of fun because I love dressing the mannequins. I love like working in the fitting room. I love looking at all the new clothes. So when I'm not working, I'm filming YouTube videos. And when I'm not working or when I'm not filming, I'm just hanging by the pool, hanging with family and friends, and then maybe in August I am going to Cape Cod. IDC, it's Marlene227 asked, why are you so pretty? Thank you for that nice comment. She also asked, will you ever grow your hair out long? So I pretty much just answered this question a couple minutes, seconds ago. I 
will probably continue to like grow out my pixie cut. I don't know, I'm just like going with the flow. If my hair gets long, I might get a trim or I just might let it grow out to like a short bob or maybe if I want to, I'll grow it out to my shoulders. But right now, I really like my hair like this and I think short hair fits me. Josie309 asks, what movie slash TV shows are you looking forward to see this summer? I am weird. I hardly watch TV or movies. <sighs> Sorry about that noise, if you can hear it. The lawn people are just chilling by my window. Hello. They're probably like looking at me like, what the heck is she doing? Okay, anyway, back to the video. I'm just not a big fan of sitting on the couch and just watching a TV. I'd rather sit on the couch and be on my computer but I am looking forward just to have like a little bit of free time if I do want to like watch TV or go to the movies with friends or family. Beauty 17 asks what advice do you have for incoming college freshmen? I really want to do a separate video about like advice for incoming college freshmen because I feel your fear and your anxiety because I was in that position last summer. So I would love to do a whole separate video on that. Let me know in the comments below if you think that's a good idea. But I think the biggest advice that I have is have fun, be yourself, and make tons and tons and tons of friends. And just know that your freshman year is not gonna always be perfect. My freshman year had lots of ups and lots of downs, but you can't just like give up and just drop out of school. You gotta give it a chance because it is an experience that is definitely worth it. I had a great freshman year and I cannot wait to go back in September and have an even better sophomore year. Next question comes from Biu Mew and she asks, is there any other language you would like to speak fluently? I've been taking Italian for eight years and I feel like I could speak it, but definitely not speak it fluently. I would love to speak Italian fluently considering I have taken a lot of years of that language. But I'm working on it. Maybe someday, someday I'll become fluent in Italian. Last question for my June Q&A comes from Marella Marcuse. She asks, what are your most favorite summer essentials? You are so redefining, beautiful, and awesome. Thank you so much for sharing the giveaway opportunity. Wish you all the best. Happy summer, peace, and hugs. Well, thank you so much. That really means a lot. Some of my favorite summer essentials have to be like a BB cream just for a little bit of coverage. It doesn't feel too heavy on my face. I also love gold eyeshadows. I feel like gold eyeshadows, bronze eyeshadows just scream summertime. And like today, I felt like wearing a bold orange lip. Summer is the perfect time to bust out your bright orange and pinks and purples and colorful lipsticks. Before I end this Q&A video, I want to ask you a question. What are some videos you would like me to film? Please let me know in the comments below any video requests because I want to film some more videos but sadly I feel like I'm running out of ideas so I need your help. Like I said a couple of times in this video, thank you to all those who asked me questions and participated in this Q&A video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!